Miss Regina with EOYDC Storytime. I'm just checking in. How are you doing? Take good care of yourself. We can't wait until we can help take care of you too. Please continue to drink your water, wash your hands for 20 seconds, and don't forget our virtual hug that you can give yourself anytime. Right hand over left arm, left hand over right arm, and squeeze. That's how much I love me and how much I love you. Now I wanna to get to another book in our story time edition. This one is called One Smart Goose and it's by Carolyn Jane Church. Are you ready? Okay, so here we go. Down on the farm lived a gaggle of geese. They were shiny and clean. Even their beaks gleamed. All the geese, that is, except one. One little goose splashed alone in a muddy pond. He wasn't shiny or clean, and his beak certainly did not gleam. The other geese laughed at him. Look at that dirty goose, they honked. Most of the time, all the geese led a very happy life. But when the full moon showed, they would tremble with fear. A full moon meant only one thing. The fox would come and whoosh! Down the hill he chased all the geese through the woods and all around the farm. The fox chased all the geese, that is except one. He never chased the lonely little goose. One morning after a very bad chase, the geese had had just enough. It was time for a talk. Why doesn't the fox ever chase you, they demanded. Have you got a secret you're not telling us? No, said the dirty little goose. It's because of my muddy feathers. They blend into the shadows so the fox can't see me, not even by the light of a full moon. All the geese looked at each other and ran to the nearest muddy pond. Time went by and all the happy muddy geese pecked away on the hillside. All that is, except one. The lonely little goose watched the sky. It was heavy and gray. He shivered. It could mean only one thing. He called to the others and tried to explain, but they wouldn't listen. So he set off alone once more, this time to find a clean, clear pond. There he washed and scrubbed and scrubbed and washed until all his feathers were clean and gleaming. That night, the moon rose full and round and whoosh! The fox chased all the geese once again. All the geese, that is, except one. The fox didn't see the lonely little goose and he didn't see his foot either. Bam! With a bump and a thump, he fell into the snow and rolled down the hill. The fox rolled faster and faster, further and further, far, far away out of sight. He's gone, cried the geese. I don't think he'll be back either, smiled the smart little goose. Oh, thank you, said the geese. And for the first time, the little goose felt like a part of the gaggle and was never lonely again. The end. One smart goose. Can you be one smart goose? What is it that you can do to help others? What is it that you can do to help yourself? Until the next time we see each other, it's Miss Regina signing off. Love you.